name is Sangwa and today I'm going to tell you about selecting Erhu bowls. At some point of time, the bowl on your Erhu will need changing and you will need to buy a new bowl. So how do you choose a bowl for yourself? Um, I think it's a lot of personal preference uh, but here are some pointers uh, that you can take note of. First, uh, you have to determine whether you want to buy a Shanghai bowl or a uh, Beijing bowl. Okay, basically, this is a Shanghai bowl. Okay, as you can see, um, Shanghai bowl, uh, the frog area here, in order to put this in your herb, you have to twist out the end pin here and detach this whole thing before you can insert the bowl into your herb. This is a Beijing bowl. So Beijing bowl usually have this uh, hook here where you can just uh, release the tension and you can actually pull it out. And this comes off and you can easily put it back into your herb. Next, we will choose a bowl based on the stiffness of the bamboo on the bowl. So how do we do that? Well, um, this is how we do it. We will imagine that we are playing the inner string and we will try to stress the bamboo. Okay. So it's very, if it's very easy to do this, that means there's a limit to the amount of force you can exert on the strings and if there's a limit that means uh, there's a limit to how loud you can play with uh, this bow so usually um, if the bow feels stiff and it's difficult to bend that means you can exert more force on the strings and you can play louder on the same elbow but usually, uh, with the thicker and uh, stiffer bamboo, um, it also means that uh, you will lose some agility uh, when you need to play fast notes. And uh, although it might help when you when you are playing the slow notes, because with the additional weight, uh, it stabilizes your bowing, and uh, when you play slow notes, uh, it is more stable. Conversely, uh, with thinner bamboo. It's easier to play fast notes, but you need more control when you're playing slow notes. Um, we usually like it best when the bow is not too thick, and um, it also has a bit of stiffness so that uh, we have more control over the volume, and also at the same time uh, we are not so uh, weighed down by by the bow if it's a very heavy bow. So. Um, you can see here, this is a spotted bamboo bowl, or in Chinese we call it Xiang uh, Fei Zhu. And uh, we kind of like this kind of bowl because uh, they are very, um, not very heavy and uh, they also have good stiffness. Uh, but they are usually uh, more expensive than the usual normal bowls. Okay, another thing that Erhu players like to do when they're selecting an Erhu bowl is they like to look down the Erhu bowl like this. Um, basically, they're checking if the bowl is straight or if it's bent this way or this way. Okay. Um, preferably, you want the Erhu bowl to be straight. Okay. If it's bent, sometimes uh, during shipping, the Erhu bowl might be bent um, to the left or to the right. Uh, that's not a big problem if you can uh, you can just bend it and make it straight. But if it is naturally bent left or right, then uh, it is an elbow bowl that you should avoid. Okay, when you buy a bowl, try to avoid a bowl that curves upward like this. 
if the ball curls curls upward like this, it'll be very easy to do this and like what I say, um, you will not be able to get uh, good volume and good control uh, over your ball. So preferably your ball curls downwards slightly or it is straight. Finally, if you are overseas and you would like to purchase an Aru bowl but you do not have the luxury of um, coming to our shop to buy a bowl, you can just uh, contact us and I will personally pick a bowl for you. Just let me know your preference if you want it to be stiff or you want it to be um, flexible and if you want a Beijing style bowl or a Shanghai style bowl then uh, I will pick the correct bowl for you. Okay, thank you for watching. See you next time.